Hi! As a space fan, I've been tracking the NASA SpaceX Crew Demo 2 mission very closely. So let me share 10 things I think you might want to know before launch. Number 10. Timing is a little important. Now, the last space shuttle mission, STS-135, took off on July 8, 2011. All three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. On the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. While plans were to have private manned spaceflight way before now, it has taken almost nine years. Almost. With the May 27th launch plan, NASA hopes to get in under that nine-year mark. Number nine is the number nine. In addition to beating that nine-year mark, the SpaceX Crew Dragon is only the ninth different rocket system to carry humans off of our planet. Now five of those, Gemini, Mercury, Apollo, the Space Shuttle, and now Crew Dragon, have been American designs. However, this is the first design of a new rocket system in 40 years. So watch for some cool, fresh things. Number eight, flight suits. Now these are not spacesuits, they're flight suits. And they're considered by the SpaceX team to be part of the Crew Dragon. Now this suit of course has fire protection, a personal cooling system, and protection in case of depressurization. But it's got cool new stuff too. Watch for things like a 3D printed helmet. Number seven, American astronauts from American soil. Who's gonna be in the suits when we launch two American astronauts again? Doug Hurley, the last man to pilot a space shuttle, will actually be the first man to command a crew dragon. This will be his third trip to space. Also making his third trip to space is Dragon Joint Operations Commander Bob Benkin. He was part of the team that delivered the Tranquility Module to the ISS on STS-130. Number 6. What's on the suit? Well, every space mission gets its own patch, and this is no exception. Here is the official NASA SpaceX patch. There's lots of symbolism here, with the Dragon and Falcon 9 logo sharing space with the ISS and a modified version of the Meatball NASA logo. That red, white, and blue swoosh with the star is the logo of NASA's commercial crew program. Now, many of the SpaceX patches, including the unmanned Crew Dragon 1 mission last year, had a four-leaf clover on their patch. That didn't make it to this busy patch, though. Number five, SpaceX is not reusing things yet. While SpaceX is known for reusing their rockets and does plan on reusing their Dragon 2 capsules, this one is all new from the ground up. Part of the reason is generally SpaceX reuses equipment on their own missions, like Starlink launches. In fact, don't plan on seeing the capsule that flew the Demo-1 mission in March of 2019. It was accidentally destroyed during a test last April. Number four, there are a few things making a comeback. Now it's not really a rocket part, but if you look on the side of the Falcon 9 rocket, you'll see what NASA calls the worm logo. It was retired in 1992, but it's making its first debut of its comeback on this Crew Demo 2 mission. Launchpad 39A will be a familiar sight as well. Although it's been modified from the shuttle days, it's ready to go for SpaceX. Don't watch for the old Astro Van either. Now what you're going to see is a Tesla Model X drive the crew out to that pad. Number three, how long will they be gone? Originally, the plan was for a short mission, a few days in space at the ISS to shake hands, have a few freeze-dried meals and come home. However, crew staffing at the ISS and a complicated deal with the Russians for rocket rides mean they'll probably remain about 90 days. There is an expiration date though. Because of the design of the solar panels on Dragon 2, 119 days will be the limit for the Demo-2 mission. Number two, 
Hawthorne, can you hear me? Who are the astronauts going to be talking to? I'm back, Mike. I think we're all familiar with Capcom in Houston from the spaceflight days, like astronaut Charlie Duke talking to Apollo 11. We're home. <laughs> Man on the moon. We copy it down, Eagle. Houston, uh... Oh, jeez. Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. <laughs> Thanks a lot. While there will still be a Capcom on the NASA side, there'll also be a voice from SpaceX now. This is called CORE, and they'll be talking to the astronauts as well. We expect that this will be based out of their Hawthorne, California Mission Control Center, but that's all we know about this right now. Number one, it's time to capture the flag. Almost nine years ago, on the last shuttle mission, STS-135, Doug Hurley, now our Demo-2 commander, and his partners left a flag to be brought back to Earth by the next American manned mission to the ISS. Why is this flag special? Well, it also flew on the first shuttle mission, STS-1, as well as the last. Now the Demo crew will bring it back to Earth and hopefully it'll be used again on another milestone. Now you're ready for the NASA and SpaceX-2 demo launch. It's scheduled for Wednesday, May 27th. Before you turn your eyes to the skies, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Enjoy the mission.